Tell us Tony Beats here. Behind me here, you can see the dreads. We are scooping up the dirt with the buckets there. We're gonna have a total depth of 14 feet. The buckets are scooping it up. They're dumping it in a hopper. From the hopper, it goes into the trommel. And the trommel has X amount of holes in it, up to three quarters, one inch. Everything under, anything under one inch goes through the holes, goes through the sluice boxes. Then it goes over set hydraulic riffles, then it goes over a bunch of massive expanded metal, and then out the back it goes. Anything bigger than one inch slides down the chute, out of the, of course, goes anything bigger than one inch comes out of the trommel onto a chute, slides down the conveyor, and then puts it out in the back and puts nice ridges out in the ass end of that thing. So the whole system here, hey, it started out as a TV thing for me. I worked out great right now, it looks like, and I know it is making a decent buck. So yeah, that's been a good thing from day one. The dress work, going back and forth, back and forth, taking up the top layer right now. And then he's gonna drop it down and take the bottom seven feet out. I gotta get out to do some prospecting. Jason, get me some more gold, would you please? Or as they say, four M's make me more money, right? Tony Beats here, standing here in the middle of all the sluice boxes. We got five runs on this side, five runs on that side. All the material comes out of the trommel, gets divided in these five runs, goes out the back, goes down the jet, into the tailing pond. All the gold supposed to stay right in the first three, four feet, and that's as simple as it is. And it's really not a great, it's really no great big mystery. The stuff is heavy, it falls right there. Done deal. 